Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella, and today I'm talking about a cool secret Santa swap thing that I'm participating in with some other people and a charity event. Hey guys, welcome back. So I was contacted through email by a, someone I've never met in the YouTube community before. And I say met with quotations because, you know, through the internet. <laughs> but anyways, um, her name, her channel name is J Hooked Crochet. And she contacted me. Well, it's J Hooked Crochet and more. <laughs> she contacted me through email to uh, ask me if I wanted to participate in a collaboration that she was coming up with. What it's called is the Secret Santa for Charity YouTube event. And what she did is she contacted a bunch of us Yarny creators, uh, small channels up to huge channels. There's some that are participating that are way bigger than me. And um, what she wants us to do is, since it's the time, the best time of the year for giving, obviously you can give any time of year, but Christmas season, everybody's all, you know, hyped up about being charitable and um, donating and all that, buying stuff for other people and all that. So she created this event so that we could... Um, promote charities, local charities to us, or big charities out, you know, anywhere that are non-profit and uh, also all the people who get to participate in it, making videos, the channels, get to be in a secret Santa swap with each other. So it's something fun where we can all swap with each other Christmas gifts, but we also get to promote uh, local charities or big charities. <laughs> so what she asked us to do was each um, person to pick out a charity to talk about and to share the details about donating and stuff and then we all get to be in a secret Santa swap that we get to open our gifts in December whenever we receive them. So the charity that I chose is a local charity to me. It's actually one county over for me but um, this past October I did a craft fair event and it was um, for this charity. It's called the Paisley's Foundation and what it is is it's a family started it. They, they were pregnant and they lost their baby. And so they started a charity for um, families who have either lost their pregnancy or lost their child uh, from, a, from, I think, three and under, uh, you know, from anything, from sickness or SIDS or anything like that. They help the families, 100% nonprofit, every bit of money that they um, gather, their donations and their events and stuff. They do, they do 5Ks, I think, and the craft shows, and they also do, like, chili cook-offs and things like that. Every, all, all the money that they earn through that, their donations and raffles and all that kind of stuff, go straight to these families. Um, they help with medical bills and with funeral costs and um, for money for the families. You know, I'm, I'm assuming probably for like, you know, because if your child, if you lose your child, you're going to be off of work for a while. So I'm sure they help with, um, you know, regular things, not just big bills, but, you know, groceries and uh, all kinds of stuff like that, but it's it's for some reason it's always been really close to my heart ever since I've learned about this um, charity. I've never, thankfully, I've never experienced anything like that. You know, the only pregnancy I ever had was Jesse, and the pregnancy was relatively healthy, and then Jesse's been great ever since he's born. Um, no, no medical issues that weren't uh, like his own fault, his own arm breaking, and all that. <laughs> but anyways. Um, but this, this charity, every time I see it, I always have to share stuff for it and everything. And then the craft fair, and I, I would love to continue doing the craft fair for years to come. <laughs> but um, it's just always been close to me, I guess, because uh, I just couldn't fathom the thought of losing a child or a pregnancy or anything like that, you know. And I hate that other people have to go through stuff like that. So I want to help make it easier for them. So if you're interested in the Paisley Foundation, I will link below in the description box their Facebook group or their Facebook page, their website, and I'll put a direct link for their donation page. And you can donate anything from a dollar to as much as you want. And, uh, you know, anything helps the families um, when something like this is happening. So that they don't have to worry about where where their food is going to come from or where their bill money is going to come from uh, when they're having to worry about such a big issue. So if you're interested in, interested in donating to this charity that I picked out or one of the other channels, um, just click on their links, which I will try to link them all below, but there will be for sure a full list of all the participating uh, channels on the J Hooked uh, Facebook page, which will be linked in the description box. But just head over to whichever charity you like the best or speaks to you the most and donate. Or if you have a local charity in, of your own town or something, you know, um, donate to that. You know, it doesn't have to be one of our charities. We're just trying to raise awareness for all all the different charities out there. So yeah, so that's pretty much, I think that sums up everything that I'm supposed to say. 
<laughs> that, I can, that I can remember that I'm supposed to say. But the, for the Secret Santa part of it, after um, she collects all the YouTubers who are participating and they put their videos out and all that jazz, I think November 21st, she's going to take all those names and mix them together <laughs> and separate them out into twos. And we're not going to know who we got because it's the Secret Santa. <laughs> and um, she's going to email us, you know, everybody who we, we got to get gifts for and then send it. And then in December, when we start receiving our packages, hopefully, if they're not international and don't take forever, um, we'll get to open them and we'll make a video of us opening our Secret Santa gifts. And then we can say, oh, blah, 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 sent me a gift, you know. And I think that'd be all fun. It's fun to get gifts in general. So, and it's a lot of fun to get gifts that you're not expecting or that you don't know what it is. So, it'll be a lot of fun to um, share <laughs> with you guys who uh, got my name and everything they got me. So, I'm excited to do the charity part and the, the gift part <laughs> because it's all fun. And so, just remember it is a, a great time of the year to be giving and to be thankful for what you have and to help spread it on to other people. So just, even if you don't want to donate to one of our charities, donate to something local to you. Or even to just, like, specific families. Like, if you know a family that could really use some help this time of year, uh, sneak them a gift. You don't have, they don't have to know about it. They don't know how, they have to know where it came from or anything like that. Just, um, I was always brought up to give in secret and, um... You know, not to try to get glory, glorified or whatever <laughs> for giving people stuff. You're not supposed to brag about what you give. You're supposed to do it in secret and um, in a way that the person receiving it doesn't feel shame or uh, anything like that. You know, you don't want to make someone feel bad about having to accept a gift. But anyways, all that said, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.